I get out is a PD tech here. We've done, uh, I was going to take the drone out today and give it a little fly, but uh, conditions up here are really, really windy. I don't know if you can tell in the mic. Pretty breezy. I checked the forecast before I came out, and it said about 10 mile an hour winds. I thought that'd be okay to be honest. I've flown in sort of 15 mile an hour winds before now. It's been just about okay, but it's just too gusty, too windy up here for the little hubs in. It's only a small little drone, very light, only about 138 grams, something like that. It's just gonna get blown all over. And this guy's is how you get the flyaways and stuff. The view from up here is absolutely fantastic. That's why I just wanted to bring it up here. It's just a perfect place, it's just a big open space. A few trees around the it's absolutely perfect. Some brilliant views. So I'm just a bit disappointed really. I'm not gonna chance it. It's just too dusty. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go try a bit lower down. But it's been about a week since I've flown it. I just wanna put it up in the air, charge all the batteries today. Got a bit of spare time. Well, just look at that, there's not a cloud in the sky hardly. The little wisps of cloud that are up there are shifting quite quickly, so you can tell. It's shifting like that, then it's just too windy. You see the grass is blowing really bad. It's just a bit exposed up here as well. Try a bit further down. We had a bit of snow last night, but that's about all that's left of it. A little magpie. Yeah, that's about all that's left of it. It's white over this morning, but it's all gone now. Sun's come out, melted it all. So I'm just on the edge of that area. It's a little bit high up, so I'm going to go a bit further down, see what we've got further down. So it's a bit calmer down there. It's definitely calmer here, but obviously when the drone's up there, it's going to catch the wind. The wind's sort of coming towards me there, so you can't tell how fast that cloud's going, but it's moving fairly quickly. So the, the airspeed up there is a lot faster than the wind up there. That's why I'm not going to risk it high up here. I'm going to go a bit further down, see what we've got further down. Well, just to give you an idea how windy it is, it's gusting pretty bad. Just seen a couple of pheasants, but as soon as I got the camera out, they just darted off. It keeps sort of calming down a little bit, and then it picks up again. Not sure what to do. Well, just on the edge of the valley, looking at over the spot where I'm going to go down and have a look in a minute. But it's just it's still too windy, I think. What an absolutely beautiful place. This would be perfect up here for flying drone. Some fantastic views. Absolutely beautiful. Perfect day, it's just a shame about the wind really. Some wispy little clouds by it, that's it. You can see how fast they're going. You can see the trees, it's just too windy for the little hubson. It's just too much for it, it's too light. Bags blowing around everywhere, it's blowing me around as well, so you can imagine what it's going to do to a little drone that's weighs about 130 odd grams so it's just going to blow it everywhere possibly fly away so I'm going to go down to that valley and just have a better look now well it's an absolutely beautiful little spot winter sun's beating through the trees there it's very low in the sky it's very very cold today close to freezing we had a bit of snow last night but most of it's all gone just thought I'd show you this little part of my walk today I don't think I'm going to get the drone in the air today 
uh, we'll certainly give it a try. That spot right up there, that's where I was just a moment ago. You see the path right up on the top. So I've dropped down quite considerably. Uh, the wind's not as bad down here, but obviously I'm sheltered by these trees. So you can see a little bit better where I was a minute ago. So I'm going to give it a little, have a little, little look down here, see what's going on. I'm not sure what's going to happen yet. You can probably hear the wind. I think it's down that way. Oh, there's still some snow there on the ground. Look. It's just too much, this wind. I can't believe it. The forecast said 10 mile an hour. They're saying this isn't 10 mile an hour wind, this is more like 20. 25 mile an hour wind, and this is just too much, too much for that little Hubson. You can hear the snow, a little bit crunchy under my feet. Look at that beautiful sunshine. Well, I'll get back down into the valley and uh, see what it's like down there. Okay, this is the part that follows an old uh, railway track. It's an old mining railway track. So I'll go down this way. And it's definitely calmer down here, but I still don't think it's suitable. Those clouds up there are really shifting when you look at them. Against that fixed pole there. And that's what you've got to consider, guys, when you drive. It's not down there, it feels okay down here in the wind. It's not necessarily so 100 feet up there. That's what you've got to think about all the time. It's what causes a lot of these uh, flyaways and stuff. See what it's like down here. Not much further to go now. I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, what a beautiful place this is. These are lakes down in the valley. I'm just checking out this place, see if it's any good, suitable. That's the old railway line I was following there. Part of the reason I want to get the drone up in the air is just to see what the layout is as regards to the old railway. So you can see any features. Not sure if you can or not from the air. You can certainly see some from the ground. But that's where I am so far. It's definitely calmer down here. Well, those clouds are still shifting a bit. See how it goes anyway, further around. Well, I'm absolutely gutted really. It's an absolutely beautiful day. Beautiful winter sunshine. I thought I was going to get a few minutes fly time up. No chance, it's just too windy. You can see up there, the clouds against trees are just racing across. And the wind direction it would take me right over the lake, so if anything happened high up there, I would be off over the lake. It's blowing me about now. I'm not even going to chance it. It's a real shame. I'm absolutely good. Hopefully next time I'll come down here and get some uh, flight time in. Well, that's where I am. So I'm absolutely good. You can hear the roar of that wind. It's just too much. 10 mile an hour it said the forecast. Absolutely no way this 10 mile an hour wind. This is over 20 mile an hour, over, definitely. I've flown it in about 15 mile an hour and, and that was a bit too much for it really. So I'm not even gonna chance it. So that's it guys for today. Hopefully in the next video, we'll get her up in the sky and uh, see what this Hobson can do. Bye bye.